six years. Six years on March 26th since the passing of Joy's son. Well, we had this tragic fire involving Christian Sheehan and also another lady. They did not make it out of a place where they were renting and the um, the place that they lived did not have working smoke alarms in it. When I went back and reviewed everything that happened and got the testimony from the survivor that got out of the house, it was clear to me that Christian was a hero. And the fact that he could have got himself out, but he chose to stay behind and alert others inside the house what was going on to his own peril. And uh, one person did get out. And that person never would have got out if it wasn't for Christian alerting them to the fire. From the ashes of this horrific tragedy came impact. We wanted to do something uh, in the community and, and, and Joy and Rob were, were the perfect opportunity to take their grief and turn it into something positive. I asked them and, and without hesitation they stepped forward and said, yes, we want to contribute, we want to give back to the community, we want to make a difference in the name of Christian. And then came the first smoke alarm blitz. And our very first one was the annual anniversary of Christian's death. And we went around and started to install smoke alarms free. So we had an organized campaign and volunteers by the hundreds came out. The Sheehan family and Champaign Fire Department have hosted four blitzes so far. The pandemic has caused things to look a bit different, but their mission has remained. Education, awareness and just um, the small price of what it takes to put a smoke alarm in versus the fatality of a life. Raising awareness on what people may not know. I never realized your sense of smell shuts off when you're sleeping, so you think you might wake up because you smell it, and that's not the case. Uh, you may sleep right through it. Shedding light on the importance of working smoke detectors. Well, obviously, the smoke alarms are there for early detection. And most fires occur in the early morning hours when people are sleeping. The first time you're alerted to something is when you start choking because the toxic smoke is just getting to you. And as the end, as the end result of that is it's too late to get out of the house. So the smoke alarms are so important and they're so imperative to give you that early warning so that you can get out. There was a house that we could trace totally back to one of our smoke alarms that we did. We know that that family and their pet got out because of that smoke alarm. That, that house, the family never knew they had a fire in the house until the smoke alarms went off and they were able to get out. And that house was completely, completely gutted and destroyed. They, they would have died. The day that fire happened, Chief Ludwig called me and as I was walking up to the house, you could still hear the smoke alarms going off with the water and the fire and everything being put out, that smoke alarm was still going off. The fire department was even able to retrieve the smoke detectors after that fire. Their efforts in Christian's honor has inspired change. The end result has been thousands of smoke alarms that have been put in Champaign homes. But the work isn't over. So there's many lessons to be learned from this one. Uh, we, we need to get smoke alarms in every home in Champaign. We've had six people die in Champaign in the last two years, two being children. Our goal is zero deaths from fires in Champaign. And so smoke alarms is the only way to get that done. So here are the things you can do to ensure your home and family are prepared and safe if the unexpected occurs. If you have an older smoke alarm, you change your battery when you change your clock in the spring and in the fall. Now the newer smoke alarms are actually 10-year batteries that are actually embedded in the smoke alarm. Take action to be sure your home is ready. A message from a mother who's been there. I think Christian would want everyone to know how is so not necessary, you know, it's to lose a life over something, just having a, a working smoke alarm. That's all it takes. All because the Sheehan family was willing to let their story of heartbreak be told and let hope pave the way. So grateful for Joy and Rob and the other members of their family for what they have done to make public safety an important priority in this community for, to prevent fire deaths. Christian's legacy and impact will live on, saving lives one home, one smoke detector at a time. In my mind, and in my eyes, and in my heart, Christian is a hero.